Well, the problem of severe or extreme pain is common. Um, studies indicate that up to 30% of patients will suffer severe or extreme pain after surgery. Um, and it's, it's not just a local problem. Um, it, it, you know, these studies are on a national and international basis uh, that have indicated the scope of this problem. Preventive analgesia refers to the giving of patient medications before surgery. Uh, most common practice in most institutions is to give medications to treat pain after surgery. The problem with that approach is that uh, by just treating pain, you actually need much greater doses of pain relieving drugs which can then lead to side effects. By giving medications prior to surgery, you actually reduce the pain, but you also reduce the dose of medications required, which then uh, uh, leads to fewer side effects and overall better pain control. Well, the Holland Centre has two main differences. First of all is the intensity of the approach of preventive and uh, other types of pain relief after surgery. And secondly is the comprehensiveness of the approach. The intensity refers to the number of medications that we actually give for pain after surgery, uh, which although we give a number of different types of medication, we use them at very low doses. Because these medications are all acting at different receptor types or different targets, they actually help to reduce the overall pain and we can actually reduce lower doses of each, so that reduces overall side effects. So that refers to the comprehensive, sorry, the, uh, uh, the intensity of the approach. With regard to the comprehensiveness, the majority of patients in the centre will receive that type of approach, I would say over 95% of patients. And so, the, um, so patient, almost all patients are exposed to this technique, which helps to both reduce pain and other symptoms after surgery. Well, first of all, we're looking to advance best practice. Um, and, and secondly, we're looking to disseminate best practice. So in terms of advancing best practice, the most important thing first and foremost is to make sure our own patients are receiving what we regard as best practice. And we have a very good acute pain service here at uh, Sunnybrook and Holland Centre, which both looks at the literature on a regular basis and implements that practice based on, on best guidelines. Well, the next steps are really to advance best practice and we're doing that through the research that we're doing at the Holland Centre and secondly to disseminate best practice and we're also looking at that area with a number of colleagues including Fiona Webster who's a specialist in knowledge translation looking at some of the barriers to dissemination of best practice throughout uh, the province nationally and internationally and looking at the, way, the best ways to overcome those barriers.